Hey everybody, welcome back. Review a day, episode number 173. I'm Leland, and thank you guys for joining me. Do me a favor, and also do yourself a favor. Head over to DanfordCast.com and check out my latest podcast that I did with my buddy Matt. We had a good time. We swore a lot. Uh, check it out. You get to listen to me complain about a lot of things that I really, really love. So check out DamperCast.com. All of my podcasts, DamperCast, the Nipicket Podcast, are available on iTunes. Search them there and you can subscribe. And that's a, a really great way to get the show every single week when I, when I release them. Uh, the film review I'm doing for you guys today, though, is from the new film Fame. And this is a remake. It's actually a long-standing franchise. There's the 1980 film I believe it was 1980. It was nominated for, for Best Song, I believe. I believe it may have won the Oscar for that. There was also a spin-off television series that is actually now on DVD. Just saw it at Best Buy the other day. And there's also a stage musical. So now I think this is like the fourth time we've seen uh, fame recreated for, for a different audience. And uh, this 2009 remake stars Kay Panabaker, Walter Pettis, uh, Naturi Naughton, Asher Book, uh, it also stars a number of uh, a- actors and actresses you may be familiar with. Kelsey Grammer, uh, B.B. Newworth, Lilith from, from Frasier and Cheers. Kelsey Grammer and Lilith back together. Glad to see that. And Megan Mullally is also in this film. Who I love Megan Mullally. She's, she's, she's quite a delight. Um, fame, if you aren't familiar with it, it's, it's always centered around a group of high school students who go to a performing arts high school in New York City. They're all aspiring dancers, actors, musicians. Uh, and, and like the first, like the original film, this film follows them in four chapters through each of their four years. You know, I, I do enjoy that original fame, the original fame film quite a bit. I really haven't seen the television series. I, I think the stage play is all right. Uh, but one thing that I really was kind of bummed about this movie was that this is a very step up a fied version of fame. It, it, it really feels more like a lot of the dance films. It fits more with High School Musical than it does that original fame film. And I believe the original fame film is rated R. It's got some pretty adult themes. I think characters have HIV. It deals with some pretty heavy issues, I thought. Some stuff that I think is worth, some really meaty uh, stuff that I think is worth really kind of exploring. Uh, this fame film, however, I think is just a pretty by-the-numbers inspirational dance film. Uh, every single character is is kind of this cliche that you, you've seen before. The main character, I think, is Naturi Naughton, who plays um, Denise Dupree in the movie. She's in the trailer. She's the the uh, the girl who's playing piano, and, and she sings. She's a, a classical pianist whose parents don't, won't allow her to play jazz or anything like that. She asks if she can play... Uh, re- she wants to be the rehearsal pianist for the school's production of Chicago, and her father says no because it's honky-tonk music, which, what fucking year is this? I mean, Chicago is one of the most beloved Broadway musicals of all time, and this girl's dad uh, says she can't do it. it. It's pretty ridiculous. You know, there's the dancer character who, who's not good enough, and he has to deal with the fact that he's never going to be professional. There's the girl whose parents pushed her into dancing from a young age. There's the Kay ban- Panabaker character who never feels like she's good enough to fit into the school. Everyone's painted with pretty broad strokes. There's a gay character. I don't know. If, there's actually not a gay character, but they act gay. There's a Jewish character. There's a black character. There's just all these cliches. And I think that's pretty sad because I think that there's a lot of great stuff you could do with this. There is some really pretty good stuff about the film, though. And I think when fame is best is when I enjoyed this film best when they were letting the music speak for themselves. When the, the main character sits there at the piano and she's playing the piano and she's singing... There is something so simple and, and fantastic about watching someone who has a skill. I think that was one thing I really liked. That these kids in this film, all the actors pretty much across the board, I thought had talent. Some of them are fantastic dancers. There's some pretty great musicians in this film. It, it, it's, it's refreshing to see people in a movie who actually have talent. Who aren't just funny. Who aren't just you know, Bradley Cooper in The Hangover. Who's a great leading man. Very funny. But to see people who have practiced for hours a talent, and then do it on the screen. Being a musician, I always really respond to that. Unfortunately, I think there's, I mean, had this just been a one, like an hour and a half video of people playing music, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more, but there were just so many parts where I rolled my eyes. There's a segment in this film where uh, where they're all in the lunchroom, and then out of nowhere, they all start playing music. And it's not a musical. It's not uh, Oklahoma, where out of nowhere, there's an orchestra supporting what they're singing. It's 
people playing music and they're all playing together. One time, one time in one of these movies where people spontaneously start playing music, there was a second, there was a sequence almost exactly like it in the Hilary Duff film Razor Voice. Yes, I have seen the Hilary Duff film Razor Voice. One time in one of these segments where people spontaneously burst and start playing music together, I want one person, one time I want one person to go, hey, hey, what key are we in? What key are we in, guys? And then someone goes, B flat, and then he starts playing in B flat. So he has some kind of general idea of what ballpark notes he should be playing. It's a total nitpick, but it's just something I want one person to do in one film. What key are we in? Uh, I would appreciate that. Fame. It's all right. Uh, wait for DVD if you want to see some people playing piano or dancing. Watch so you think you can dance. It's it's on every week. It's it's probably going to satiate the same needs you're going to get from this film. I give Fame a 2 out of 5. If you guys like this review, make sure to give me some star ratings. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.